Listen, we're just talking and talking and talking, and now we're on TV. Let's do this. She is a force of nature, you guys, a passionate artist. Just some of the ways that you can describe Alana Springsteen. We uh, heard a little bit. You just heard a second ago. Tonight, she's going to be in uh, the northern part of the city up in Noda, and we're talking a little bit about her journey. Alana, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in here. I'm so happy to be here. Come on, how much coffee have you had today? We were it's, just talking about how much coffee we drink in the morning. It's brutal. I'm a caffeine addict for sure. Are you sure. really? Um, <laughs> it keeps me going. At this pace, this year has been, I definitely need it, but uh, probably three cups so far. Good for morning. you. All right, I got you beat by two <laughs> cups, but it's nice to have you this morning. You are 23 years old, yeah. and I'm sure you have life figured out at 23 years old. I'm looking back at a lot of your songs <laughs> over the last couple of years, Alana. Um, you're, you're pretty good at describing what you've been going through. How easy is that to be vulnerable when it comes to being a songwriter? I was actually just talking this morning about it. Um, that's really the only place that I've been able to be that vulnerable is through songwriting. Really in my personal life, like with my family, even my closest friends, like I'm not such an open book. Yeah. And the only place that I've really been able to get out these emotions and kind of process what I'm feeling and going through is through music. When I was a kid, like I wrote my first song at nine and I would oh, just wow. find myself sitting on the floor in my room whenever I'd go through things or feel things and it would just come out in the form of a melody. And I'm still doing that. <laughs> I've got a 22 year old daughter. So now I feel like your dad almost, Alana. I feel like an old school guy here, <laughs> but I'm just trying to imagine my 22 year old daughter processing her life and what she's been through in a journal or in, or in music. Has that been, mental health is such a big thing nowadays. Mm -hmm. is that, has that been comforting for you to be able to process that and then hear other people sing back what you've now created? Man, it's the most beautiful form of connection that I've ever experienced. Um, cool. And this album that I've released is called 20 something and it's been me being single for the past couple <laughs> years. Really for the first time I had like some really terrible relationships that I was working through um, through my history of breaking up era and people saw me through that heartbreak but this album has been all about just getting to know myself and kind of reclaiming that power and that confidence in myself and really figuring out who I am for the first time. And um, there's a lot of deep songs on here, like really vulnerable yeah. that just kind of cut to the truth of it. And I'm not gonna lie and say that I wasn't nervous to release a lot of them because it is just putting it all out there. It's like, this is me. Um, but there's nothing more special than getting on that stage every night and knowing that they, my fans know the real me and kind of just see me for who I am and that we share all those things in common. I love that. You really are an old soul in a young person's body and you've got so much ahead. Um, at 23, what do you feel like, what do you feel like your superpower is? Oh man, superpower. I feel like at 23, it's easy to feel like you don't have too many. <laughs> You're just kind of figuring You're just it out as you go. You're trying to get through day go, by day, right? Like, taking it day by day. Yeah. Um, but man, the most important thing to me right now is just being my most authentic self and leaning into who that is. And that can be hard, especially mm -hmm. at this age. Um, and it's a constant thing that I'm checking in with myself, leaning into my gut, being like, how do I feel? Like, what matters to me? What's important to me? And living life on my own terms. And I wrote a song about that. It's called Amen. It's one of the most vulnerable songs song. on this album. Um, but man, being in your 20s comes with so much pressure from everybody, whether it's a boyfriend or family or friends, just trying to fit in and make everybody happy. Um, but people have given me advice over and over again this year, and it's just like be yourself completely and lean into who that is and um, constantly challenging myself to do that. Well, I'm glad you're giving yourself that freedom and space to, to learn and to grow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot. You ready? Okay. All Rapid right. fire. Here we all go. Right. Would you rather, you ready? Uh -huh. Would you rather duet with Dolly Parton or Taylor Swift? I got to say Taylor Swift. You know what's funny? My first concert ever was Taylor. Really? Speak Now, right here in Charlotte. Oh, when cool. I was nine years old, so oh, I'll it. never forget that. But she, uh, man, she made me the artist I am in so many ways. Maybe it'll happen one Maybe. day. Maybe, put it out there. Would you rather be on a dating show or a survival show? Oh, I wouldn't do too well surviving. <laughs> <laughs> I would be gone in the first episode. I'd rather be on a dating show, I guess, if I had to. <laughs> All right, last one. Would you rather Christmas in Colorado in the snow or on a sandy beach? On a sandy beach? I or wrote a Christmas? song about it. Come I on. know, you just released it. Growing up in Virginia Beach, I guess you <laughs> gotta say the sand. Listen, uh, you have an amazing voice, an amazing talent, great songwriter. Can't wait to see what the rest of your career holds. Thanks for stopping by with us this morning. Unfortunately, the bad news, guys, it's a sold out show tonight, but you can catch her online. You can catch the rest of her tour when she's out and about traveling. Uh, we took your car keys away. We're not gonna let you leave until you perform. Are you cool with that? Sticking <laughs> I'm around sticking long around. enough to do a song? I'm sticking around as long as you guys do. <laughs> All right. We're going to strike the set and set her back up so you guys can hear her play Alana Springsteen. <laughs> By the way, no relation to Bruce. 
Everyone asks. I know. Everyone All asks. right, we're going to take a, a break here in just a second. Ted, let's catch up with weather while we get the uh, guitar and all set up. How are we looking outside? Yeah, for anybody that did get those tickets that are now sold out, your forecast tonight looks pretty sweet. Uh, we're going to be in the mid-50s, mostly cloudy skies. That show is at 7.30, evening news. You can keep that in mind after you finish watching the morning news. Northeast. All right, here we go. You've heard a little about, about Alana's life and her background. Now it's time to hear more music. Thank you for being back with us. Alana Springsteen, here she is with Goodbye Looks Good on you. Take it away. <laughs> Know the rules of a breakup. Delete your number and ruin your name. Baby, we can make a mess and bake up. Lie about it if I stay at your place. We could both be angry. Hate you and you hate me. We could play that game and stay the same. But what if we don't have to choose? What if no one has to lose? Hope you meet somebody who loves you like I couldn't do. Cause baby, you and me were never right. But we gotta be on different sides. So what if we just told the truth? Yeah, goodbye looks good on you. And it looks good on me too. Ooh, 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 ooh. We gotta make a heartbreak harder. You ain't gotta make your mama hate me. I ain't gotta be a midtown martyr. I don't need somebody else to save me. We could still have the same friends. We can hang at the same bar. I just want you happy and hope you are. But what if we don't have to choose? What if no one has to? Hope you meet somebody who loves you like I couldn't do. Cause baby, you and me will never die. But we gotta be on different sides. So what if we just told the truth? Yeah, goodbye looks good on you. And it looks good on me too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. could both be angry hate you and you hate me we could play that game but not today what if we don't have to choose what if no one has to lose hope you meet somebody who loves you like i couldn't do never right we gotta be on different sides so what if we just told the truth yeah goodbye looks good on you and it looks good on me too ooh, ooh, ooh. it looks good on me too ooh, ooh, ooh. it looks good on me too Alana Springsteen in Noda tonight. Make sure to follow her on social media and support this rising star. You are a star. You're not rising. You're already there. No. Stay with us. We're going to take a break. We'll be back.